So now we're going to identify percentile using the t-table. So number one, the area is 0 0.05 on the right of the t-distribution. The degree of freedom is 5. So if you notice, ang given is area and the degree of freedom. We're going to look for the t-score or the t-value. So first is we're going to draw it. So the area is 0 0.05 on the right. So 0 and 0 0.05. It was told that the area is the total area is equal to 1. So, kapag 0 0.05 lang, so probably dito siya. Kasi, kapag on to the right, so ito siya, the, this area is 0 0.05. Kung area na ito is 0 0.05, ibig sabihin, itong area na dito is if the total area is 1. Tapos 0 0.05 lang dito. So, ibig sabihin ito is 0 0.95. Ang area nitong nasa left, nitong line, which is the T, what, the T that we are looking for is 0 0.95. Because the total should be, ito, kapag i-plus mo yan, dapat 1. In our table that we are, we're going to use, ang given dito is uh, the area in right tail. Ibig sabihin dito sa right. Diba? It's a Z. It's a Z. It's, it's on the left. But in here, it, the area is on the right. So, the given is the degrees of freedom. And here are the areas. So, here in the area. So, for number one, given dyan na ang area to the right, area on the right is 0 0.05. So, 0 0.05. Hanapin natin si 0 0.05, which is this one. Tapos, hanapin natin si degrees of freedom na si 5. So, 0 0.05, hanapin mong degrees na freedom na 5. So, this is the this is the score, 2.015. So, this is 2.015 or 2.015. So, it's easy. Let, number 1, the area is still 0 0.05. So, it's easy lang kapag to the right. So, to the right of distribution. So, ito yan. 0 0.05. 0.05 but the degrees of freedom is different which is 20 so 0.05 pa rin hanapin natin yung degrees of freedom na 20 20 which is this one so 0.05 tapos degrees of freedom na 20 so it's 1.725 so 1.725 1.725 so that's for num number one number two the area is 0 0.10. So, kapag 0 0.05, dito naman, for number 2 is 0 0.10. Ang area, so 0 0.10. So, ibig sabihin to the left is 0 0.90. So, 0 0.90 siya kasi total is 1. So, the decrease of freedom is 10. So, hanapin natin si 0 0.10. This is 0 0.10. Tapos, ang degrees of freedom is 10. So, degrees of freedom is 10. So, it's 1.372. So, 1.372. Another um, trivia is, kapag ang degrees of freedom is 10, ibig sabihin ng N is 11. Kasi, di ba, the formula for the degrees of freedom is N minus 1. So, the, ibig sabihin nito, dagdagan mo lang ng 1, that's the sample size, which is 11. Next, let's proceed with number 3. So, sa percentile natin, the given is 0 0.10. So, ibig sabihin, ang percentile nito is... um. We're going to base it on the area on the left. So, ang area on the left is 0 0.90. Again, it's the same with this one. So, 0 0.90. Bakit 0 0.90? Kasi the total area, di ba, is 0. The total area is 1, rather. 1 ang total area. So, kung dito is 0 0.10, ibig sabihin, ang natira dito is 0 0.90. Kapag 0 0.90 dyan, ibig sabihin, the percentile is 90 yet percentile. Bakit 90th percentile? Ibig sabihin, ano ibig sabihin ng 90th percentile? Ibig sabihin, 90% ng sum sa sample is mas mababa sa kanya. So, laba o kung 2, 1.2 um, dito, so ibig sabihin, um, ang 90% ng sample size is mas mababa sa 2. Ibig sabihin, if the sample size is 10, tapos ang score ko is 2, ibig sabihin niya 90% ng 10, which is 9, so, is mababa sa 2. 
that's the percentile. For number four, we're going to find the 95th percentile of a T distribution with six degrees of freedom. So it's given in here that the degrees of freedom is equal to six. And then the given also is 90th percentile. So it makes me 90th percentile, diba? This is 90th, 90th percentile. This is 95th percentile, sorry. 95th percentile. So it makes me 90th is 0 0.90 to the left. Dito sa left, 0 0.90. So, kung 95th percentile, ibig sabihin niya, ang, ang area dito sa left is 0 0.95. However, in our table, ang given is nandito sa right. So, kailangan natin malaman itong area on the right, which is 0 0.05. Kung 0 0.95 dyan, ilan ang kulang para mag-1? It's 0 0.05. So, we are given ng area to the right is 0 0.05 tapos the degrees of freedom is 6 so using the table the degrees of freedom is 6 tapos area is 0 0.05 so 0 0.056 it's 1.943 so 1.943 so this is the the 95th percentile is 1.943 next number 5 Find the 5th percentile of a tree distribution with 6 degrees of freedom. So 5th percentile. So ibig sabihin 5th percentile. Kung 0 0.95, dito ang line. So paano na lang yung 5th percentile? So ibig sabihin dito yan siya. 5th percentile. So 5th fifth, fifth percentile. So ang area is 0 0.05. Kung 0, 95th is 0 0.95. Kung 5th lang, 0 0.05. So ibig sabihin, ang area dito... Kasi 0 0.05 dyan, ang area to the right is 0 0.95. Hanapin natin dyan ang 0 0.95. Kasi given sa table, diba, is area on the right. So area on the right is 0 0.95. So 0 0.95, may 0 0.95 ba? Wala. Ang pinakamataas lang yata is 0 0.25. So dahil ang pinakamataas is 0 0.25, ibig sabihin yan, we are not going to use 0 0.95. But if you remember, the property, one of the property is it is symmetrical at 0. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung 0 0.95 dyan, it's pwede rin na 0 0.9, 0 0.05 dyan, pwede kang gumawa ng 0 0.05 dyan. They are symmetrical only. So, this it's the same lang ang score. However, dito, positive, dito, negative. So, um, ano ba, kung 6 degrees of freedom, hanapin natin yung Kung dito, ilagay natin yung 0. Point, again, ilagay natin si 0. 0.05 dito sa right. Sa right. So, 0. 0.05. Instead, sa left, so gawin natin sa right. Tapos, hanapin natin siya dito. 0. 0.05. Tapos, ang degrees of freedom na 6. So, 6. 0. 0.05 degrees of freedom 6. It's 1.943. 1.943. It's the same in here. So, 1.943. So, kung positive dito, ibig sabihin, negative yan sa dyan sa dito sa kabila. So, ang given yan is negative 1.943. So, yan siya. How are you going to do it if it is negative? It's negative, uh, if it is negative or mas, mas malaki dito sa right, that's how are you going to look for the percentile score. So, next is, um, we'll proceed with number... Example number 6. Example number 6 tells us that what is the area to the right of 2.4 under a T distribution with 7 degrees of freedom. So it's quite different in here kasi ang inahanap dito is area to the right. So what is the area to the right? So instead na ang given diba is area. So at our previous example, ang given is area. But here, here we are looking for the area. Tapos so given ang T score or T value is 2.4 at uh, saka ang degrees of freedom is 7. So, degrees of freedom is 7. Tapos ang T score, ibig sabihin T score is 2.4. Ibig sabihin dito 2.4. So, kung 2.4 yan siya, what we're looking for is the area to the right. So, itong hinahanap area to the right. So, diba previously, ang given is 0, 0.0. It's either 0, 0.05 or 0, 0.10 or 0. 25 but in this one ang hinahanap is yung area so paano natin hanapin ang area so balik tad ang gagawin, gagawin natin so in here di ba degrees of freedom 7 tapos 2.4 ang, ang t so hanapin natin dito si 7 so 7 hanapin natin dito yung 
2.4 na score dito sa, sa mga score dito 2.4 meron bang 2.4 walang 2.4 and based on our table. So, however, may mga program sa computer at sa, sa calculator, some of the calculator na pwede mong hanapin yun siya. However, in this one, because we're just using the table, we cannot have that. So, ang dito lang, ang pinakamalapit sa 2.4 is 2.365 at saka 2.517. So, only, ibig sabihin niya, maka- ang gagawin na natin is to estimate. So, the T is between 2.365 at saka 2.517. So, this score is between 2.4 is between 2.365 at saka 2.517 So, ang 2.365, ang area niya is 0.025 So, 0.025 So, ang area is between 0.025 at saka 0.02 So, yan lang ang gagawin, gagawin natin So, yan lang ang given That's other it's Sorry, sorry. Yan ang um, possible answer na maga, mabibigay natin. So, that's the only possible answer that we could give answering the question number 6. However, halimbawa kung ito naman ang hinahanap. So, kung oh, pag ito ang hinahanap, all you have to do is, i-minus mo lang yan. Minus mo lang yan. So, 1 minus 0 0.025, the area. This is on the left. Left naman tayo. So, 1 minus 0 0.02. That's 1 minus 0 0.2 if, if I'm right, it's 0 0.98. It's 0 0.90. Is, is it 97.5? So, if I carry 1, carry 1. So, I think that's, that's the answer. So, um, that's the answer if it is to the left. Pero kapag right, this is the answer for question number 6.